thank you, we bless you, we worship you. We exalt thee for whom you are. We thank you so much for the opportunity you've given us to see just another day. A day that no one has ever used before. A day that equal opportunity, equal to four hours, is given to everyone to love you and to do your will. Thank you so much because you allow us to start the day with you that we might know how to live the day for you. Father, we ask for mercy of all the days you have ever allowed to see and we never live for you. And all the instruction you, you ever given us that we never make do of. Please have mercy. Forgive us, O oh God, and speak to us again in the language we all will understand in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, I am but a little child. I know not my left nor my right. That's why I'm asking you to show me mercy. Come in, Holy Spirit. Use me to speak to myself. Use me to speak to your, to your people and remain in me. To the end that I and your children will be using this month, you'll be speaking to this morning. We all shall be the dwell of your word. And this word will prepare us to your kingdom. Father, let every spirit of mind wandering, butterfly spirit, be cast away from our, from our midst in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. That demon that always misinterprets the word of God in the heart of God's children. Today, your end has come. I cast you out of this ministry and every other churches out there that are truly of the Lord in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, this morning we have a message from the throne of mercy. A message for somebody here. A message for me and for somebody. A message is a question. I have, asked, I have to ask myself what I have been doing. Since the message will give it to me, and I believe somebody else here will also have asked. So the same question. What is the question and the topic? It says, I, you, truly a friend. Are you truly a friend? I believe we all this morning have a friend. Maybe you call the person a sister or a brother. Call the person a companion whatever that person is to you. I want you to look inward of yourself and ask yourself this question, am I truly a friend to this person? Am I sure I'm not an enemy to this person? If you are a friend to that brother, to that sister, how friendly are you? What are you doing to prove that you are a friend to that person? What Positive things have that person ever achieved from you? What are those things that person see that say, yes, since I knew this person as a friend, my life has changed? Or will the person sit down and say, since I knew this person as a friend, my life has become sorrowful? Everything about me is sorrowful. Whenever I think about you as a friend, all it does is to, is to shed tears. I ask again, are you truly a friend? The Bible told me and you in the book of Luke chapter 5, 17 to 19, and it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law, city by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. 18. And behold, men brought in a bed of man, a bed, a man, which was taken with a passy, and they sought means to bring him in and to lay him before him. 19. And when they could not find by which way they, they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went up to the top, to, to the house top, and let him down through the through the tilling with his cot 
unto the mist, unto the mist before Jesus Christ. This is what our friend will do. This is what this how our friend will behave. These people did everything to make sure this person saw Christ and be healed. They never make mockery of hell. The, this person, let me use singular now, this person was not the person who we mocked the friend. But he did everything to make sure the friend received help from the Lord. So that everywhere was locked up. He said, no, I will not abandon my friend. He went as far as opened the ceiling and lay him down to make sure that his friend was healed. But what about you? At what time your friend told you or said anything about him, all you do is to carry phone and start gossiping him. All you do is to be making mockery of him. Tell you, you tell the other and tell the other, you don't know what you are doing as a friend to that person. All you are doing is to make sure that you are not using that thing to make mockery of him and make sure that other people hear what I've told you. It's of you to do everything to make sure the reason why he told you about that sickness, about that problem, is this all, but your own is no. Are you truly a friend? Is that your friend now, wherever he or she is right now, will he be happy at least because you are alive? I'm, a, I'm happy to be alive today. I know that my friend is there for me. Or, oh God, I know that they have come again. I know this, my friend, today. We, we do something again to make me cry again today. Return to the flesh of your friend. Return to the flesh of your brother. But this person was a solution to the brother or to the friend. Are you truly a friend? The Bible told you, and I, in 1 Samuel chapter number 18, verse 1, and it came to pass when he had made an end of speaking unto Saul, that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. This is how a friend should be. Remember, Jonathan was the first son of Saul, who is the heir apparent of the, of the throne. Even if, even though he knew that the Lord God Almighty had said the, the next king would be, would, be, would be David, he was never jealous. He did everything to make sure that David succeeded the throne of his own father. This is what a friend should be. A friend is somebody who will see, will see with the eyes of the spirit for the friend and do everything to make sure it does. But today is isn't so. The friends you have today are friends who backstab, who you cannot trust, who you cannot say, I rely on this person. The Bible says, and the soul of Jonathan meet the soul of, of David. And he loved David as his own soul. Do you love that your friend as your own soul? Are you not calculated to make sure that, that, that your friend is never above you? Are you not happy whenever that your friend tells you it's a problem? How do you always feel whenever that friend calls you and gives you testimony? Of what is happening in family. Whenever he come and tell you how the, how the husband or the wife is loving him or her, how do you feel? Don't you feel bad? But anytime he or she call you and tell you about problem, hey, your heart is happy. Is that not who you are? All you want to do is to make sure you are a counselor that counsel your friend about, about problem. But at all time, he or she call you and tell you about promotion about what God has done, your heart is as heavy as stone. Are you truly a friend? I want you to look at that best person again you call a friend and see what you'll be doing to him or her in secret and ask yourself again, am I truly a friend? If you are a friend, how are you friendly to that friend? The Bible told you and I in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 24. A man that had friends must show himself friendly. 
You that call yourself a friend to that person, you must show yourself friendly. That person must see you and be happy. That person must not think about you and be crying for all the things you have been doing to him or her. And there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Is this who you are to your friend? You have only stick when you want to get from him or her. You are only you potentially stick to him or her for this problem, so that you can get get more things from her to go and make more of her for. Whenever your friend is being insulted, you are happy. Whenever your friend receives demotion, you are happy. You call yourself a friend. Whenever anything happens to your friend that will bring down great men, that will bring sorrow, then you are happy. You are not a friend, sister, brother, you are not a friend, you are enemy. You are an unfriendly friend. An unfriendly friend that must, be, that must be cast away from that person. How do you feel whenever that your friend passes through pain? Are you not happy as a friend? How do you feel Whenever that friend is going through, does his pain not give you joy? Does that pain not give you joy? The Bible told you and I in the book of Proverbs, chapter 17, verse 17. If friend love it at all time, not seasonal. If friend love it at all time. And a brother is born for adversity. You call yourself a brother to that person. When adversity comes, you run away. You call yourself a friend to that person. Your friendship is seasonal. What sort of friend are you? What kind of friend am I to that my friend? You that only love when maybe there's things from him or from her. That's when you love. And this problem, you run away. And the only way you draw close to the person with this problem is to get more info from that problem to go and tell other people to make the foolery of them. You are not a friend. You are an enemy. Brethren, how do you carry the body of your friend? Do you carry the body to make sure the body is lifted away? Or you carry it to make sure it's being spread to other places? You pretend as if you are helping the friend. You pretend as if you are a, you are a helper. But inwardly, you know that you are only kindling the, pro the problem. Inwardly, you only you know that you are you are doing that to make more creep of him or her. You are doing that to show your supreme mercy over your friend. That's why whenever your friend things are better now, you are no more happy. You always want your friend to be subject to you. So therefore, you want him to or, or her to always be a problem so that he or she will be under you. And you're saying, hey, you know, I'm a friend. Whenever you have a problem, I'm always there for you. That's what you like. You always want your friend to be a problem, to be a problem, so that you always be there. You don't want her to also have a British, a British space, to also enjoy life. Anytime you call her, you always or call me, call him. You always want to hear bad news from him or her, so that you can show yourself a good counselor. So you can show yourself, potentially show yourself as a good person. But in what do you, you know? That you are a wolf on the sheep bottom. Can we repent now? If that is how you are, you are friend. The Bible told you and I, in the book of Galatians, chapter number six, verse two, bear you one another's body. In. Don't try to carry it so you can be dropping it into where people that have big mouth are so they can make more of it. Don't pretend to bear it so that you can use it to suppress him or her even more down. You bear body to take it away. 
You bear body to make sure the body is lifted away. But is that who you are to your friend? I don't think so. And so, fulfill the law of Christ. Bear your friend's body to make sure it's lifted, to make sure it's gone. Don't try to carry the body to you to roll him or her more and more. Whenever you pronounce something, I say, I, um, I won't tell my friend. What kind of friend are you? A good friend will never use what you know about your friend to make your friend. It's not possible. It's not done. You're not a good friend. A good friend will never, ever, ever, no matter the situation, to laugh at his friend over a predicament. It's not done. Never done. That's a good friend. A good friend will never remember the wrong a friend to you whenever there's, there's issue. You don't go back to it again. Good friend, they always bury the past. Whenever anything happens, as they said, it's buried. But a bad friend will always keep it to use again. A bad friend will always want each to come so you will see how to point out. What sort of friend are you? When you are helping your friend, you write it down in case maybe the friend do anything to point it out. You see how I have always been doing helping you. No, you are not helping him. You are subduing him or her. You are not a helper. You are a dominion spirit helper. You better repent now. If, I, if that's who I, who I am to a friend, I better repent to The Lord is speaking to me, speaking to you. Be care to listen. But the Bible told you and I in John chapter number 15, verse 11. This thing have I spoken unto you, that my joy may, be, may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. That's right. Well. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. That's who called friend, call a friend, do you love him as I love you? That's some person call a friend, do you love him? Truly. Such a, do you truly love that friend as Christ loves you? And you are ready to do anything to make sure your friend is always happy. Set yourself. 13. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. Do we do this? Do we lay down our sleep to make sure our friend is happy? Do we, can we genuinely submit our home to the, to the person? Can we genuinely give up our joy to make sure our friend is happy? I mean, genuinely, not to make mockery, not to subdue, not to, not to force supremacy. I mean, genuinely, we do that. Say, ye are my friend, verse 14. If ye do whatsoever I command you, what does Christ command you? We should love one another. That is the command. And if he said, and he said in John chapter 4, verse 15, if you love me, keep my commandment. What is the commandment? Love your friend as I have loved you. Love that person that God gave you opportunity to, love, to, to be a friend to. Let me tell you something. Even though you are rich or whatever, the Lord gave you opportunity to be a friend to that person. <laughs> you may not understand. Anyone the Lord bring your way, bring my way, is an opportunity for us, for us to showcase who God is in us. But most of the time, we don't know. We misuse it. And if we find out that at least the person is lower than us in anything, we do everything to subdue that person. Not everybody. Some people are genuine in whatever they're doing. But some people, they do whatever they're doing to, to raise account against their rainy day. So that when rain is falling, those are the things they'll bring out. We are one. Verse 15, or John 15. Henceforth, I call you not servant, 
for the servant knoweth not what he, what his Lord does. Do it. For I have called you, friends, for all things that I have, I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. Though he has made known unto us, yet we don't do them. The first thing Christ made known to us is love. Heartfelt love. How to care for somebody that God has brought your way. Out of trillions of people in the world, the Lord brought that person your way to care for. You think it's because you were better, because you were richer, that, that God allowed that person to call your friend? No. I tell you, I tell you something. The way you hunt that friend, we either send it to hell or send it to heaven. We must be very careful. We must be very careful the way we address ourselves. Especially somebody that God has brought to you as David and Jonathan. We must be very careful. And we must always know this. Your today may be your turn. Tomorrow can be somebody else's turn. When Jonathan was helping David, he never knew a day's coming that his son will be helped by Jonathan. Make keep or what we call him. Be careful. We must be careful the way we handle our friends. If truly we are friends. The Bible told you and I in Psalm chapter 41, verse 9. Yea, my own familiar friend, is this, is this not who you are? In whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, have lifted up his heel against me. Is that not what you are doing? Your friend will do everything to make sure you are happy, but all you are doing is to bring him down. Your friend is doing everything. When you're in trouble, he or she genuinely follow you. Whenever you are lacking, he or she do everything to make sure you are okay. But all you are doing is to make sure, is to see a, a, a loophole to bring him or her down. You are Judah is currently in making. You are you everything he or she doing for you does not even matter to you. All that matters to you is your contract that your, your, your father, the devil, sent you over his life or her life. And yet, with all the love he or she has shown to you, you are not, you are, yet you are not changed. You're not a friend, you are a devil. You're a devil. A friend is happy doing everything. You have the boldness to, to gossip him or gossip her. You have the boldness to backstab him or her. God is warning you. The Bible told you that I, in all that the Lord did for Judah is Carlos. Luke chapter 22, verse 47. And while he yet spake, behold, a multitude, and he that was called Judas, one of the twelve, the very friend of that sister, that brother, went before them and draw near unto Jesus and kissed him. Is that not what you are doing? You are only falling, in, you are only in that family to see the downfall of the family. You kissed him. Destructive kissing. The love you profess to that brother, is it true? The love you profess to that sister, is it true? Are you, am I not sure you will not, you, you will not betray him one day? Am I, am, am I sure you are not calculating? Of how you become Judah is of that family. They are doing everything to make sure you're okay. But your mind is not with them. The Lord said, I call it me Lord, Lord. And you do not those things that I've told you. You sing my praise, but your innermost you, you are angry with me. You pretend to be happy with what I'm doing for you. But yet, you are calculating of how to deal with me someday. But not with, don't worry. He or she will keep on doing what he's doing. But I tell you something, you are all the evil you are planning will roll on you one day again. Say the word of God. Verse 48 of Luke 22. And Jesus said unto him, Judas, 
But sorry, but Jesus said unto him, Judas, betray it, thou the son of man, with a kiss. Remember how you betrayed that family that did everything to take care of you. Be, remember what you have, what you have done in the, at the back. See, I can feel the pain. Judas, even you, you that I let my bed for so that you can sleep, you are doing do this to me. You that I make sure the, the comfort of my home was taken away to make sure you are okay. You are doing this. It's so painful, people of God. You that are doing everything to make sure our man is praying for you. You are doing planning such an evil. Christ, though he know he knew everything, but because of the love, the 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 the, 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 the connection. The, 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 the friendship between my Judas and Judas, he cried, Judas, why would you do this to me? But you profess to love me. So for all these three years, all the love you are saying, I love you, Jesus, this is how it has ended. It's painful. It's painful. The Bible told you, I, in Philippians chapter number two, verse four, look not every man on his own thing, but every man also on the things of others. Are you a selfish friend? And I write that. It's only when they are happy you are here, you are in love. Afterward, no more. I say, if you, are, if you are truly a friend, always think, you have, what, do I, what will I also do now to make sure this person is happy? Or do we think let me see this. Do we think that our friend who is always doing everything to make sure we're happy is a fool? Sometimes we take we take some people to be fool. Why? Because that is the kind of heart the Lord has given them. They make sure their friend is always happy. But you are not taking it now as a yastic. You are taking it as a witness to him or her. With that, you cannot do a lie. If you go away from his life, the Lord will be a better friend or take your faith. Or her to him or her. You are return to the flesh of that friend. They are warned. They are warned. The Bible told us in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 23, verse 33. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, rather. Sorry. And be kind one to another. Tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. Do you forgive your friend? You forgive it, you forgive and load it in, the, in one corner. Set the trap to make sure he or she falls into the trap again so that you can pull out all and load it again on him or her. But you see, if truly you are a good friend, you must be kind to. One another, tender hearted, forgiven before he or she will ask you, Hey, my sister, you are forgiven already. But no, no, we, we, we do some things, say some things, even without saying we forgive, all those things we have said we are done, we become, we don't we, we, we we have many problems upon us. Let us do everything to make sure that for it happens. Do everything to make sure. Whenever that person wake up in the morning and say, yes, I am happy to be alive because that my friend is there for me. For help us all in the name of Jesus Christ. And Amen. We get to read John chapter 13, 35 to 30, 30, uh, 34 to 35. I'll stop with this. Are you that good friend, are you the one that the Lord has put that good man into? I need to encourage you. Don't give up. Is that friend not, not taking to be a fool? Please remove that friend from the picture and keep doing what you are doing. Maybe that friend is, is hurting you 
no matter what you do, all he, he, he or she does is to hurt you. Please don't give up. The Bible told your eye in Galatians 5, verse 9. Let and let not let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season we shall reap if we fail not. Ten. And as as we have therefore opportunity, let all do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. That person the Lord has given you opportunity to be a friend to. Please keep doing good to the person. No matter what he or she is doing. Maybe no matter what you do, he doesn't, doesn't care. Stabbing you up and down. Don't worry. Make sure you finish your contract very well. It's a contract you have over that person's life. It's not you. Make sure at the end of everything, your fire over that person will be a justifiable fire. Please maintain your lane in that friendship. Do all you can do to make sure there's no stain in your hands over the life of that person. Keep doing good. Keep helping him. Keep helping her. Keep praying. In due season, the account will be given. And I tell you something, you forever, ever, 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 the joys for all the pain he or she passes through. The Lord God Almighty help me, help you. If I'm to repent of being a bad friend, help to repent, Lord. If I'm to continue doing good, if I'm the good friend, Lord help me. I want to go to God in prayer. I don't know the side you are. Check your friendship with that person. Are you in the side to, to repent? Please repent and say, God, change this kind of heart I have for this person. But are you the good part? The one that is doing good to make sure this person is happy? Say, God, give me grace. No matter what this person will do to me or he do to me, give me grace to end this contract you gave to me very well. The contract God has given to you over that sister, over that brother. Please don't end badly. Make sure you finish well. Open your mouth and pray to God. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, my Father, and my God, Baba, Father, Lord, I beg of you, Father, please help me, Baba, Father, please, oh God. some days ago, the last one, some weeks ago, I called one of us here. Said, Please, can you get me so 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 thing? I said, oh God, I've gotten it. But I couldn't, I couldn't send it to you because you are not so far from me. I don't know if this is something that I, I always get, get from the person. So you, are not, you are not very far from me. So from the half family phone. I don't know if I send it to you, if you will use it. I say, oh God, what is this? Two other day, my heart was not sent to God. How were you to that person, and how are you now? Even till now, whenever I, 
I don't know. I don't. My heart bleeds. What about you? Who is that friend that God brought away? Are uh, you? You 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 put it you systematically or how I don't know how you used to do, did it drag this away and this person always want to do what the Lord has sent him or her to do in your life he cannot he cannot again and by so doing the Lord is writing it, it down for him or her though you are the one that that make him or her to do it what about you every of your good friends. And you have used your bad character to chase away, and now you are not having Python around you. I'm not to you, Father. Have mercy upon me. That your friend is secondary school those days that God brought your way, and today you people would have still be good friends. You chase him away, way, but now the sick down. I don't think God would have used him or her to do your life. Maybe that would have happened to you if that friend was there. Only one prayer he, he, will, he, will have, he or she will have prayed to God. It's not, it, it, it's not come to pass. But you chased him away a long time ago. The Father, have mercy upon me. Help me, your touch lights. Touch lights the whole world and share that friend. They told him about me, or him about to me. And that character in me that is driving good people away from me. Destroy that character in my life today. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, my Father, and my God, Baba, Father, God, I pray for your mercy, Baba. Have mercy upon my soul, Daddy. All the good friends of God, Baba, they are placed in my life, that I by myself, use my spirit, Baba, Father, to change the way. Let's have it. I pray for your mercy, Baba. Every spirit of always thinking we are wise, don't know we are foolish. He brought to from us and give us his kind of humble heart to live with everyone around us in Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. 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 You're not born again. The message that came now is for people who are born again. You can see it's not that easy to make it into heaven. We begin to help them on their way to heaven. But God, God Almighty has come to speak to us right now. Do you want to be among us that God will be speaking to you like this every morning, anytime? First of all, give your life to Him. Confess your sin before the Lord Jesus Christ and let Him become the Lord of your life. And from that time, from this moment now, He will be speaking to you, guiding you to the kingdom. Maybe you are also here, you are you'll be born again. But that friend offended you. Bastille, please, I'm begging you, come back. No matter what the friends, the friends, the people you care for have done to you, please come back to the Lord. I beg you, don't allow them to use their own to spoil your own. I beg you, come back. You know why? On that day, you give account of yourself to Lord. Be, be encouraged, return back to the Lord. Yeah, thank you. If you have done that, thank you for your life. I pray the Lord will sustain you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord, again, please, I want you to be baptized. Call on any of the men of God the mountain. And Lord, we use it to baptize you. I can't say you when necessary. In Jesus Christ, thank you. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you for your spoken to us again. I thank you for your spoken to me, particularly, and to your children also. Lord, I've learned. I'll guide my way through the Holy Spirit. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon your daughter, that your son, who are guilty the way I, I was guilty of this message. Help me, help him, help her to amend our ways and go and live the life you expect of us to be living. Lord, I bring this one that you're going again to you. 
Lord, we strengthen them in the power of them. And block that road they pass through to you next so that they can never go back again to the land of Egypt of sin. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, please search the message you got. Is there any song word you have against me? Is there anything that, that out, of, out of context, please have mercy? Forgive me, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Help us all to live by your word to the end that we all receive a victory on the last day. And then we shall ever reign and live with you in your kingdom. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray with us, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So your soul Amen. Amen. Bless you, servant of the Most High God. May the Lord God Almighty continue to strengthen you, empower you, replenish every person that have left you in the middle of us. More wisdom, more of the anointing of God in your life. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. May the Lord continue to uphold you with his hand, um, hand uh, of uh, hand, uh, mighty hand of righteousness. Mm -hmm. I'll you, say, guard your entire family to the end in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 And may the Lord God Almighty open our eyes, open our understanding to know how to serve Him to the end in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Beloved, it is all free time. Blessing time. We are saying thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you. All the message you get on this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. Uh, beloved, please, uh, beloved sister, sister Veronica Olumide, God bless you, my Jesus Christ, my name. Uh, please, please stand by for our monthly and yearly declarations. Why the closing prayers be taken by our beloved uh, minister, Medita Fredna, God bless you, Saint Jesus Christ, my name. Amen. Uh, please, I quickly want to welcome the newcomers in our midst. Uh, if you are worshiping with us for the first time, you are in the right place. The Lord that brought you here will finish that which He has started in your life. Uh, this, uh, this is His mountain of solution and redemption prayer ministry worldwide. It's a place of hope, a place of peace, a place of comfort, a place of salvation. We love you with the love of God. And please kindly wait behind after closing to see the available men of God. Uh, to contact the men of God on this mountain for counseling, for baptism, for directions, and for whatever you need. To the glory of God, uh, please, uh, you can contact us with this telephone number. Uh, please, if you are calling outside Germany, our contact number is plus 491-5211-334015. I repeat, plus 491-5211-334015. You can also reach us on our website, which is www www.msropm.org There you can get all the relevant information about this ministry. You can also get some uh, forms to fill. Just put your information in there so and the men of God will reach you. Then uh, also certain things that can also grow your spiritual life. Kindly visit our website. As you do so, the Lord will bless you continuously to the end in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen.
beloved, uh, all other information still remain the same, useful and authentic. Our fasting is still on by the mercy of God. Our next meeting will be 11 a.m.